I rise on behalf of New Zealand First to support this bill through first reading to select committee. And I do so, we do so, because I think if nothing else has been obvious here tonight, there needs to be a conversation about this issue. Um, there are strong feelings on both sides. I want to pick up on the point around, uh, because of the demographic that my party um, spends a lot of time with, um, it often comes up, this issue of um, parental responsibility and who should feed the children. And it's really interesting having that conversation with that age demographic because I say to them, when you went to school, you got milk every day, right? Which they acknowledge is true. And when they went to school, they got fruit every day. And yet there wasn't a single headline that said their parents were neglectful parents. There wasn't a single headline in the 1950s through to the 1970s that said feeding children meant that their parents didn't give a damn. It wasn't a conversation about that. It was a conversation about, these are the children of our country, give them something to eat. I don't believe there's a single member in this house that if a child came and knocked on their door and was hungry, wouldn't feed it. I don't believe Ms Hawiti wouldn't feed it. I don't believe Ms Hawiti would say, go home to your parents and even though there's no food in your cupboard, you tell your parents that's their responsibility. Of course she wouldn't. That's not what she is saying. And this is the conversation we need to have. Now, from the New Zealand First perspective, we're not 100% sold on this bill. In some ways, it's too broad, and in some ways, it's too narrow. And if I can just explain that. As we've heard, this bill would actually provide breakfast and lunch for every child inside a Decil 1 and Decile 2 school. Now, in, in one way, that's too broad. There are many children inside, particularly, I'm talking about on the Kafia coast, up there in the hills there in Huturu, there's some Desal 2 schools. Those kids' lunchboxes are fine. They're fine. They're full of home baking. They've got um, sandwiches and, and rewa bread and so on and so forth. They don't need this program. But then I could also take the author of this bill to a Desal 8 school in Walkworth with the largest Kiribati community in the whole of New Zealand with children showing up that do not have food. And it's not because their parents are lazy. It's not because their parents don't care or don't love their children. And as a country, we should not say, go to your church and prove you're good enough to get some charity. That's not where we want to be. That's 18th century England. This is the 21st century New Zealand. We need to have this conversation. If we have children showing up without food, let's have a conversation about one, feeding the children appropriately, and two, fixing the cause. If we ignore this issue, if we don't have a conversation about putting the children first in this issue, not again, and we just had it in the last bill, Stop talking about the adults when it's the children that are paying the price. Deal with the adults after we just feed the children. So New, New Zealand First will, I'm not going to take much more time, sir. New Zealand First will um, support this bill because we believe there needs to be a conversation. It's a shame that the government doesn't believe it has the it can actually even have a conversation, just like the bill just before it, where they tried not to stand and speak. Give the people of New Zealand an opportunity to come in and tell you what they think. This is supposed to be a house of representatives. This is supposed to be one of the finest democracies in the Western world. People come and see our select committee process because it's the best part of our democracy. Do not stop the voice of New Zealanders coming in. Let them have their say. Then do as you will and then let them decide at the polls. But let them have their say. Chris Hipkins. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. I'm happy to take a brief call and...